One more thing I like to do is to make sure my tires are pumped to the appropriate tire pressure. Now for older vehicles, this is especially important because what happens is that they take your older vehicle at the smog station and they put it on a dyno when they do the smog test. So in other words, they give your car a load and make it uh, feel like it's running on the road when they actually take the readings and test for the smog uh, emissions performance, okay? So for newer vehicles, you probably don't have to do this. I'm not sure the details of how it works now, but I'm going to inflate the tires anyway, just in case, okay? I'm gonna plug it in, okay? Then I'm going to turn the ignition on so my compressor has some juice. And let's pump at least the front tires because when they put this thing, if they ever put this thing on a dyno, they actually only load the, the drive wheels. Okay, so let's put this on the valve stem. Okay. Okay, so you can see we're actually not that bad. We're just at... 30, a little bit over 30. Okay, if you're unsure about your vehicle, you can always check the information label here on the frame, okay? So if you look here, it says tire size, okay? Tire size, and we've got cold tire pressure. Now it's hot, okay, so maybe a little bit higher than 32 would be appropriate. But here it says 32, okay? 32 for the front and rear tires if this is the spare tire pressure don't worry about that and we can see 32 is appropriate so we're actually around 31 32 uh i've been driving the car for a little bit so you know it's actually going to be higher than that because um temperature increases pressure okay so this is our target so if you're under 32 you should add some air to the tires okay so we're about 32 and a half let's just leave it there and do the other tires and uh, once we're done we'll head over to the smog station okay so i was a little bit short on the tire pressure on the other three wheels so now i've topped it all off we're about 32 and a half on all the four wheels just in case they do some kind of a dyno check or something a uh, road test or something but uh, you should be doing it anyway right keeping your tires inflated for the best uh ride quality and gas mileage Okay, so now we are ready to head to the smog station. See you in just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm parked just a couple of blocks away from my local smog check station. Okay, so just one or two more things before we go into the smog, uh, smog station. Now, first, you need your paperwork, okay? Your paperwork has got the barcode that they need to scan to pull up the information on your vehicle, okay? So if you take a look at the paperwork, Okay, it's got the barcode you need to scan, as well as these notes here about where you should get your smog check, okay? It says here, a smog certification obtained from a star station, okay? Please take this notice to an approved Bureau of Automotive Repair, BAR, star station. When it passes, certification will be transmitted to the DMV electronically. Your registration card and sticker will be mailed to you upon receipt of the electronic certification. No further action is required on your part. So basically, once you have gotten your smog uh, check done, if it's a pass, the guy will hand you a piece of paper. But you don't have to do anything. Basically, the information will get sent directly to the DMV and you should get your sticker. Now, the important thing here, make sure it's a star station. So make sure the station can actually do the smog test, which your car requires. The other thing is keep your car warm, okay? So if you take a look here, make sure your car is in operating temperatures, hot even, okay? And that's because the emissions equipment was designed to work better when the car is hot, okay? Especially the catalytic converter, okay? So make sure you've driven your car around for a little bit warmed up the engine, make sure everything is running properly, okay? You can even uh, give it a good few revs if you need to, to heat up that engine, but make sure the catalytic converter is nice and hot so that it works at its best, okay? And it will improve your chances of getting that pass. Okay, so now is the moment of truth. 
time to find out if all of our hard work has paid off. We're pulling into our local smog check station right here. All right, see you in a little bit, everyone. Okay, so it looks like our local Chinese-owned smog check station is pretty busy today. So let's see if uh, how much we have to wait to get our turn and see if we need to park it anywhere before we get serviced today. And as I said earlier, keep the engine running. Okay, keep the engine running. The car will stay hot and the emissions equipment will be operating as designed. There it is, baby. Star certified. Light duty vehicles only. 5975 plate A25 certificate. There it is. So I'll check down. We plugged in the OBD2 reader and it's undergoing the test. Look at this shop. It's one of the old school Chinese auto repair places. Stuff just strewn everywhere, but that's how you like it. That means they get busy up in here. Smog inspection fee is due whether the vehicle passes or fails smog. Okay, so we've just finished the smog check. Looks like we've passed. Okay, we're going to pull out of the place right now. Woohoo, we just passed the smog test. Let's take a look at this passing smog test certificate. So it says everything has passed. Overall test result, pass, pass, pass. Okay, visual inspection, pass. Functional inspection, pass. Okay, it looks like they Check the air injection system, but that's not applicable. Okay, computers, sensor switches, pass. EGR pass, fuel metering system pass. Not applicable, because it's not a turbo. Catalyst pass, crankcase emissions, controls, pass. Fuel EVAP, pass. Other emission related components, systems, pass. Vacuum lines, pass. OBD2, pass. Okay, everything pass, pass, pass. Okay, liquid fuel leak check, pass. Smoke check, pass. So all of our hard work just paid off. Now, a couple things I noticed, this smog test was actually very, very speedy, okay? Normally I leave my car there and they just do it and I'm not even around to see it, but this time I watched them somewhat carefully. So what happened is that I pulled the car in, not really in, but then just at their computer. And all he did was basically plug the OBD2 reader into the port of the vehicle, just like I said, there was no dynamometer loaded test. It was all OBD2 and visual inspection. So first he did the electronic, uh, the electronic test through the OBD2 system. And then he gave it a couple revs. Room, room, room. Gave it a couple revs. Okay. And then he looked at the tailpipe for like a couple seconds. And then he looked under the hood, which I believe is part of the visual inspection. They do a visual inspection to make sure nothing's been tampered with, no illegal equipment, etc. But basically that was it and I was out of there. And the whole thing would have taken probably five to 10 minutes, but it took a little longer because another customer had come in and he had to talk with her. But basically the smog test is over. We passed with flying colors. So if you think this video was helpful, please like and hit subscribe and I'll see you next time at Kelvin's Garage.